Um, I don't know if you're aware of it, in 2015, UCSB admitted 44% of their freshmen uh, incoming students were first generation to college. So that means almost half the students here on campus do not have um, either parent that graduated from a four-year college. And I tell them my personal stories that I grew up in a little farm town in Indiana, a very poor family, and uh, spent four years in the Coast Guard, and you know, I'd, I'd give them the whole story. that I, you know, I tell it like it is, that I didn't start uh, with all the advantages that they probably think that many professors have. I remember being a student because, you know, I myself come from a low-income background and because um, I graduated high school with a 1.9 GPA, I didn't even, college wasn't even a glimmer of hope in my future and um, it was 10 years before I got to go to college. Coming in, I didn't really know much of anything, so I was struggling. I didn't know what college was about. And I was the only one that ever came from my family, so I took an uh, initiative and went to um, the Student Resource Building, the Career Services, EOP. Like, I would talk. Like, every time I had the chance, I would go and schedule a meeting so I could just have a one-on-one -on -one talk and know what college is about. I did not receive any real advice about going to university, in a sense. I'm an adopted um, kid, and I wasn't really raised ground up as a kid, more so adult. One thing that I just discovered last quarter was the time management skills from CLAS. They, they printed out a 10 week uh, booklet with time slots from 8 a.m. to midnight. So I just plan my mandatory school events and my mandatory job events and then I fill in the blank spaces with like lunch or uh, soccer or homework time or studying time. I'm particularly tuned to trying to identify those who need help sorting their way through the system. I work with a lot of students who are um, uh, students of color or who are first generation uh, students in college. Paul Spicker has really inspired me because when I become a professor, I want, also want to be a mentor to my students. And there's a lot of um, underrepresented um, Latinos that when they and first generation students that don't know what what it takes to like go get their PhD or their master's. Like I had no idea what I had to do to go get my PhD or like take you have to take exams, you have to have a certain GPA, like what I didn't know anything. So like just having him as that support it gave me all this information has really helped. We had had the midterm that day, and about half an hour after the midterm, a kid came to my office. She said it was her first, first quarter uh, in university, and she, had, she was freaked out. She said, I studied really hard. I knew it cold, I, 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 and I know I flunked the exam. So we talked a little bit. I found out that she's the first person in her family to graduate high school. She was junior mama in a Vietnamese uh, family, it lived in Little Saigon. So I kind of kept tabs on her. I didn't tell the TAs. The grades came back. She only got 100%. She only got the best grade out of 310 students. I had her in three more classes uh, uh, over the course of her time. And here she ended up graduating first in her class. She got a master's degree at Stanford. She got a PhD at Berkeley. She had a postdoc at Rice. She is now about to get tenure at the University of Chicago. My role as a student, also first generation college student, I think it's just kind of like to open that path and to show my younger cousins and siblings like how or what should be done, like mistakes I've done, as well as just kind of educate those that don't really have the opportunity to come to college. When I was in high school, I did the studying that I can, but because I have a lot of siblings, um, a lot of my study time turned into you know, being a mentor in a sense for them and helping them study and be the best that they can with stuff that they didn't understand. You know, because as I am the oldest and my other adopted siblings too, so just to show them that there's hope.